In this presentation, we are going to look at the test statistic for chi-squared. Okay, so I'm just starting in the middle of this question. On the left-hand side here, I have a table containing the observed values uh, for a two-way table. Okay, so in particular, these are the observed values in here. Okay, and everything else here, and that is just the row totals and column totals. Likewise over here, this is the expected values for each uh, combination of the two categorical variables. I'm not really interested in naming them, but there we go. Now, what we're interested in is the test statistic. And this is something that was probably going to be given to you back of your formula sheet in the back of your exam, but it's well worth uh, knowing it off by heart anyway. So what I'm going to do now is calculate the um, uh, the test statistic. So there's six very similar calculations, okay? And I'll just give you the sort of start us off here. For the first one, what we're going to do is take uh, 27. That's the observed value for x and a, and we're going to subtract the expected value for that cell, 24, okay? So I'll, I'll just write it over here. It is 27 minus 20. Oops, can't write there. 27 minus 24 squared. Okay, I'll just move down here a bit, and so it's 27 minus 24 squared. It's all jumpy here. Sorry, I just have to pause it and make more space. So 27. Oh, that's no good. Um, 27 is the observed value and we're going to subtract 24 and we're going to square that and the last part is as follows what we will do here is we divide by the expected value okay so we divide by the expected value now just be very careful about the brackets it's, we're only squaring the numerator what's above the line okay so this is the expected value here is again 24 now I'm just gonna work this little bit out here just to clarify that this is 3 squared over 24 which is 9 over 24 okay now that's just that particular calculation for that particular cell okay just what happens there is that I'm just a bit worried that you might not appreciate where how all the brackets work out okay so we do that for each cell now I'm gonna um, we'll just do it for each of the cells now so we'll do it for the next cell and what I will do here is I will sort of formulate it in such a way I'll work across the column uh, rows so then I'll do the next uh, 13 and 16 here I'll do that one so plus so essentially we had to do for the next uh, cell so this is 13 minus 16 squared over the expected value there, 16. And uh, the next one is 24 is the observed, 30 is the expected. And I'll just do it down here. So I'm sort of matching the, um, so I'm matching the cell out, out, uh, structure. And again, the 24 there is the, uh, uh, sorry, wrong way around. 20, it's 24 minus 30 over 30, okay. The expected value there is 30. Yeah, sorry, I got the back ways. Uh, the next one is uh, 26 and 20. So the observed is 26. Um, 26 minus 20 square that and that's over 20 and I'll tell you what I will let you uh, check this very quickly and what I'm going to do is just to do the last two in one fell soup so if you want to sort of try out the calculation there uh, for the last two parts uh, just uh, screen, uh, pause the video and just see do you get what I get. So I'm going to do the rest now in one fell swoop. I'm going to pause the video myself and just write up the rest of the answer. And we'll just see do we get the same answer. So that's me unpaused. There we are. 
Uh, 36 minus, 39 minus 36 squared, that's going to be 3 squared, which is 9 over 36. And 21 minus 24, that's going to be minus 3. When you square that, you get 9 over 24. Okay. So what we have here is six terms, and essentially all we have to do now, that's the first term there, the second term here. Uh, this is the next term here. So we have six of these terms, each corresponding to a cell. And now what we have to do, is, well, simplify it and add them up, basically. It's as simple as that. So um, I'm going to go to a new page here, and I'm just going to write up the answer very quickly. 9 over 24 plus uh, 9 over 16. I'll just follow the, the cell structure I had the last time around. 36 over 30, the tabular structure, plus 36 over 20 plus 9 over 36 plus 9 over 24. Now, what is required here is just a bit of calculator work. Okay, so what happens when we add all of those up? Straightforward enough, we get an answer of, uh, I make it uh, 4.562. Okay, and that is our test statistic. And what you do that with that now is you will compare it to a critical value from the statistical tables. Just as a quick remark, the statistical tables should give you a value of 5.991 as the critical value. Okay, that's the critical value there. And what we have up here, that's our test statistic, TS. Okay, so that is calculating the test statistic. Uh, the answer is 4.562. The next step, what you would do is go on to the critical value, so you compare it to the critical value, and here the critical value is 5.991. Okay, we'll leave it there.